All right, hello guys and girls. It's been a long time since I've made a good little video and in a video in general, and I'm sorry about that. As I have said in my past couple of videos, I'm not diving as much as I used to, especially at night because of security guards at my old old dumpster that I used to go to. And because I'm just so tired from work, it just gets harder and harder to do and focusing on running my business as well. So I do apologize for that, but I have a couple of videos coming soon. So including this one, of course, this is a Goodwill video. So if you have a Goodwill, you should always go to it. They have some good stuff. Just don't take the games because that's my stuff. If you live in California. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. All right, but I got two nice bags full of goodies. And, well, before I get into goodies, I'll show you something else I got that's not in a bag. I scored myself a little Pac-Man. Well, not little. It's actually pretty big. I'll give you guys a thing. Pac-Man Battle Royale. Yeah, you see, it's Goodwill, of course. Now today, which was really, really cool, and I didn't know about this until like yesterday, but Goodwill was doing, instead of one color of the week, that's going to be a dollar today. For, for, for California, it's Thursday. I don't know if other places are different. But they did two colors of the week for today. So if it was a white tag or if it was a red tag, it was a dollar. So after I got out of work early, I ran to three Goodwills. So I am really happy. This is one of the finds. It worked, it's really good except for this little spot right here. But other than that, look at this you guys. This thing's huge for a dollar. You cannot complain. That was a good find. Next up, we'll go in the bag. This is probably the most expensive item that I got. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows audiobook. Brand new, factory sealed. Originally retails at $80. On Amazon, it's like 40 bucks. So I have it listed on Amazon right now. But really, really cool. It was a great find, especially brand new sealed. Now, I didn't find too many games. I mean, I still found a decent amount of games. But most of it was honestly Blu-ray discs. Pretty, and other DVDs. So they got Prison Break, Season 1. Brand new factory sealed. And again, these are all dollar. Notorious Collector's Edition. That's... In there. I don't want to reveal any codes if there's any codes, but they're in there. Um, Speed Racer. Now those are Blu-ray discs, you know, those are a lot better. Then I found this weird thing. Looks like Plants vs. Zombie stuff. Uh, it just has damage right here. It was a dollar, not too bad. We got Colombiana, Blu-ray. Come on. <clears throat> Iron Man 2. I think this was only one disc though. Yeah, I only got one disc out of it. But I mean still, and that was the special features, this kind of sucks, but oh well. G-Force. Wall Street, brand new sealed. Well, that's a good thing. Blade Trinity. I've been wanting to get back into watching Blade, so for a dollar I picked it up. I want to watch it again. I want to watch it from the beginning though, but I don't know how that'll be. Final Destination. Now, I did pick this up. It was a green tag. If it wants to show, the rainbows are just coloring it. Wow, you really can't see that as a green tag. Huh, interesting. But it was a green tag, so I paid $3 for this. I always forget to somehow see the first one. I always see all the other ones on TV. So I already want to watch the first one again. So I paid up for it. Then we got The Hangover, unrated. That was, of course, a dollar. The Hobbit, The Unexpected Journey. Hitman, unrated. And this was also missing a disc. Which sucks. Skyfall 007. And last but not least. The Hangover Part 2. Now I mean. Let me straighten this out a little. This is how many movies I got today you guys. Look at all those movies. All dollar each except for. 
one movie. And then of course that and those. Moving on to the next bag. Now it's nothing fancy or anything, but I mean some light bulbs. You can find a way for the house, make us more energy efficient, especially in California. It's pretty crazy over here with the energy. High school musical for the DS. Of course it's in there. Ali and AJ Adventure. Monster High Goal Spirit for the Wii. I'd never heard of this game before. Eternal Sonata for the 360. Ghost Recon for PS2. Now these are all dollar. Warhammer Age of Reckoning a game time card. It's sealed. But there is something here. I guess it's a card. But it is sealed, so it gives you 60 days. Outdoor challenge. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 10. Racing Revolution. Or Evolution. Now this isn't Rock Band. They didn't have it, unfortunately. But in its place, it had GTA Vice City. So I was like, you know what, I'll take it for a dollar. And last but not least, a Predator PS2 controller. It's missing the back for the batteries, but other than that, it looks pretty badass. They had it at $10, you guys, $10. But anyways, I got it for a dollar. I got all these for a dollar each except for one thing. Yeah, only one thing. But everything else was a dollar. I'm pretty happy. This was a great haul, you guys. A great Goodwill pickup day. I wish there was more games. I really wish. But for the last couple weeks, they really haven't had any games. And it's kind of disappointing. But, I mean, I still got a really good deal. Got some good stuff. And then... Let me see. I guess I'll do a couple... A little preview of the Goodwill... I mean, of the GameStop stuff I've gotten re recently. Got this PUBG Xbox One display standee. You can actually take this part off. Oh, sorry about that, you guys. And then, I don't know if you guys remember this, but I still have this from when I moved. I still have it. I haven't used it yet, but I mean, I still do have it. But I have all these shelves just full of all my gaming stuff that I have a lot of stuff and then these are all games and toys like this box just all xbox games that one has more games that one has more games this has collectibles in it and this is all 360 and xbox one games look at that boom They're all priced out too, ready to be sold. Xbox One games. Quantum Break, a whole bunch more. So I got some good stuff you guys. But, before I go, oh, I wanted to let you guys know something real quick. So for anyone who is in California, we are having a convention coming up. It is at the Pomona Fairplex in Southern California. It is Saturday and Sunday, January 20th and 21st. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus in. I'm on focus. There we go. So January 20th and 21st. It's with Retro City Festival. There's going to be a whole bunch of arcades, consoles, and pinball machines. Over 100 video game consoles. 200 plus arcade and pinball machines, video game tournaments and museums. They're gonna have a Sega Dreamcast museum. They're gonna have all the, a whole bunch of original characters from Mortal Kombat 1 gonna be there. A whole bunch of other famous people are gonna be there as well. I will have my own booth there. So if you are in Southern California or you're able to travel, we are having the convention at the Pomona Fairplex. 
And again, that's January 20th and January 21st, so Saturday and Sunday. So if you guys are interested, just let me know. If you guys are interested in any of these, just let me know. And I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.